Good to thank God for the edit button. Yeah. Okay, now this, uh, for me, if I have favorites, you know, of course, Asa had a lot of impact on me, but when you really want to talk about dedicated, fearless African scholarship in America, you got to talk about Dr. John Henry Clark, Yosef Ben Um You know, I, I, to go into the bi biography, I think, um, is, is kind of long. If you've never seen Great and Mighty Walk, you should find that video. It does a very beautiful job of going through John Henry Clark's uh, um, John Henry Clark's life and his philosophy and how he was uh, influenced in history, his teachers coming up and all these things. And of course, he's written lots and lots of books. Um, the, one of the ones that notes on an African revolution, I think, is very important for people to read. But he's got so many, you know, he was a short story writer, he's been an editor, he's been just about everything. But more, he was Malcolm X's uh, advisor, you know, I mean, the man has done so much and has influenced us so much and influenced so many scholars. When you see Dr. Clark and Marimba Ani and all of these, you got to look at these men, you know. These are the these are the ones who really set the pace. And Ben Yakinen, of course, you know, he's got so many books on African origins of civilization and on religion. And if you ever go on YouTube and watch him debate some of these, uh, uh, this, some of these people, wannabes. yeah, some of these wannabes, you know, he puts them to shame very quickly, you know, in terms of religion, Judaism, the history of the religion, and all of that. So, um, you know, Black Man of the Nile. He's written so many books, and but mainly they're activist scholars. You know, not only were they teaching, but they were out there. And I was noticing, if you ever watch this video of Malcolm X when, at the funeral and people were coming out of the procession, you'll see him walking out there. I don't think he was, he wasn't like a Paul, but he was right there with the front line. So they've been with him in New York City. He was born in Ethiopia, studied in Puerto Rico, a civil engineer, historian, all of that. And of course, Dr. Clark was a master historian teacher. So, so I, I, I want everyone to do your own work look up these men. Right now you can go anywhere on YouTube and just watch extensive uh, interviews, extensive lectures, all of it's there and you'll see why we consider them to be our historical fathers there uh, out there in the wilderness of North America. Anybody got any questions? Thank you. Yes, sir, Bumani, thanks for uh, everyone coming and um, keep on pushing. Yes, I appreciate your invitation. It's been a wonderful day. Good food, good energy, a lot of history, culture. Did you get Rufus? Yes, Rufus is the man. You all need to see Rufus at least one time. Actually, family, this is the wall that we have. We have worked our way down, family. We the whole wall. Yeah, the brick, yes, family. <laughs> I can go without a brick. Uh, so this is the wonderful ancestral wall, family, right here in New Ningo, outside of Tema. And family, this has been incredible. My good brother, Jerry Johnson, has really just come true and put the history, the culture, the energy together in this memorial wall. Yes, my sister. Let's add Winnie Mandela. Winnie Mandela is the ancestor now. Where is the husband? With me, will be there. He's over there? No, they're yet to put it. They're going to put oh, it. They're going oh. to. Okay, so so they have to put them together, maybe. Awesome. Well, Nelson yes. and Winnie Mandela. Together. And family, stay tuned for more of the journey of a lifetime. Even though they kind of like.